Today we're going to make a simple cast iron burger. Now I recently seasoned this cast iron so I want to start cooking in it and I've got me some hamburger meat. This is 7327. Uh, but before we do that, what I'd like to do is go ahead and toast my buns um, real quick in the cast iron skillet. We'll just take a little bit of butter, add that to that, and we'll set that in there. Let that begin to toast a little bit so it'll be ready when we're done cooking the burger. Well, these buns ought to be toasted. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, look at that. Man, there's nothing like a good toasted bun when you're making a simple cast iron burger. So now that we've got those done, what we're gonna do, some people actually call these smash burgers. I just barely put this hamburger meat together. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna lay this. Now the skillet is on medium. And uh, so we're just gonna kind of lay this in here. And smash this down here. For just a couple seconds. And we'll pull our wax paper, or not wax paper, but uh, paper off of it. Let that set and develop a good sear on it. And I want to take and just add just a little bit of salt to this. Not much, but just a little. A little pepper to that. We'll let that set and cook for just a few minutes. What we're looking for is a little bit of that juice coming through on the top. And then we know pretty much that the bottom is seared real well. Okay, that's looking like it's starting to bubble up through there pretty good. So what you want to use is a, a nice little metal spatula. Now, contrary to a lot of belief, is you can use metal on cast iron. So we'll get that. And I want you to look at that. That's a good looking sear on cast iron burger. We could have actually seared it just a little bit longer. But anyway, we'll flip this over and uh, let it cook for another minute or two on this side. We'll add just a little light bit of salt and a little bit of pepper to that. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of mustard to my toasted buns. And uh, we're actually gonna make cheeseburger today. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one piece on the bottom side of the hamburger bun and then the other one we're going to put on the hamburger shortly. Boy you're talking about seasoning a cast iron skillet now this beef fat uh, also known as tallow. Beef tallow is a good way uh, to continue to add more seasoning to your skillet. The best way for seasoning a cast iron skillet is to cook in it and cook some type of fatty meat kind of like this here so Anyway, uh, I'm going to flip that over and just kind of show you what that looks like. Let that drip just a little bit. We'll add that to our cheese. Now we're going to go ahead and put another one in here. Mash that baby down there real good like that. Well, this good old bacon press comes in real handy for stuff like this. We'll add our salt and pepper to it. And let that get a good sear on the bottom of it. Now generally when you're doing something like this, you're going to want about, probably about a four ounce, maybe four to six ounce uh, piece of hamburger meat. And that way it, it it pretty much ends up being about the size of a good hamburger bun. As you can see, we're almost the same size as that hamburger bun. So, you know, that makes it perfect when you have just about four or five, maybe six ounces of hamburger meat. And that makes the perfect cast iron hamburger. I mean, it stands to reason we cook steak in cast iron, so why not put a good sear on a hamburger in cast iron? Now, I know it's beginning to be grilling season outside, but in case it's raining or whatever, or you just uh, want to cook inside, this is the best way to do that, and that's cooking in a cast iron skillet. We'll go ahead and add just a little bit of salt to this and a little bit of pepper for our seasoning. We'll let that go ahead and cook for just a minute. Now the thing about this is, once you mash those in, 
And like I said, some people call these smash burgers or whatever. This is just the way I've always known to cook them. But in order to have a good juicy hamburger, once you mash that down with your bacon press the first time, you get the hamburger down to the thickness that you want. And then from then on, you don't sit over here and just mash on your hamburger. A lot of people, that's the way they'll cook. They'll start cooking their hamburger and go to mashing down on it and squeezing all the juice out of it. Well, then you have a dry uh, hamburger that's real chewy and everything. But if you want a good juicy hamburger, don't do that. Just mash it down the first time to the thickness that you want and then cook it on both sides. Sear it on the bottom and then flip it over for just another minute or two and you got the perfect cast iron burger. Don't be afraid to flip it over once or twice if you want to. I mean, you certainly can do that. There's no rules against flipping. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my heat off. We're gonna take and add a piece of cheese to this. With our heat off, that will allow that to melt. And uh, if, we, if you wanted to, you can actually put some kind of cover over it. I don't have a lid for this. We'll just kind of let it melt a little bit. And then once it melts, good old American cheese is the best way to go. It melts the best on a hamburger. And so we'll go ahead and put that on here. And there you have it, folks. There is a good old cast iron burger. Just a simple cast iron burger cooked in what else but a cast iron skillet. I'm going skillet. to cut this in half and show you what this looks like. There you have it folks. Don't you look how juicy that is. Oh yeah. What else can we do with it? Well, there's only one other thing to do and that's to give it a taste test. Mm. Wow. You can't beat that, folks. You need to give this a try. Be sure and check this video out right here because it was created specifically for you. And we'll see you guys over there after a while. We're going to finish this big old cheeseburger here. Y'all have a great day. It's Mike over here at Mr. Cast Iron. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm.